Have any of you seen these stories about these, you know, quote unquote angels that are paying off the layaway, some of the layaway plans of, of Kmart customers? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a product of the Kmart marketing department. You know, uh, it's funny how marketing people can choose how we feel, but we don't think we can. That's a bad situation. So, but this is really about Ron Paul. I saw Stizor made a Ron Paul fanboy video. I didn't see the Great Takes video yet that um, that he was replying to, but I was already motivated to respond. Um, yeah, Ron Paul is a right-wing nutter. I mean, supposedly he has libertarian principles now, but he still thinks we should have a strong border. That makes a lot of sense. That sounds real libertarian. If you look closely, I think you see that his libertarianism is just, you know, is current word for his conservatism and uh, you know yeah I started paying attention to Ron Paul when he was the only Republican one of the only politicians against the Iraq war but there's a lot of reasons to be against the Iraq war for example let's say you think that it's an act of kindness to go over there and, and spend all this money to give them democracy and that's why you don't want to do it because you don't believe in giving that kind of charity okay that'd be a pretty bizarre reason to be against the war but it's out there you're looking at it. Right? Now, Ron Paul wants to dismantle, dismantle social infrastructure and all the little whiny anarchists of the world, as opposed to the strong willed anarchists, can, uh, can complain about mommy and daddy governments, the only problem in their lives. Maybe they don't have a job because then they would know that there's other people controlling their lives. And uh, Ron Paul just wants to weaken uh, one particular kind of, uh, of power base. And it happens to be the kind where people just get together and say, look, we don't want to make money, we just want to make justice, we want to have some fairness, we want people to be able to get to work and get educated so they can work and things like this. And no, no, we're not doing it to make money, we, we just want to get together and make a, a type of a union where we cooperate to these ends. And that's the kind that Ron Paul is against. He's perfectly willing for some guy with a bunch of money to build an infrastructure and tell everybody how to, what they have to do to use it, down to whatever, what race they have to be. That's fine. No limits on that. But if the group of people get together and say, hey, no, sorry, your whole business is in our whole country and we have some rules, oh no, he's against that. He wants to dismantle the Department of Education and and all our health and research and he just wants to dismantle you know our social infrastructure you know fuck him you're also worried the government's telling me what to do well fucking get more politically aware okay if you already vote intelligently yeah you know take the social hit bring it up at parties bring it up around people might not think you're too fun but you have control and power in this, in this uh, governmental system that you choose not to use. And you choose not to exploit. I don't think it's sufficient power myself, but it's kind of hard to argue that when people haven't even used it yet. Yeah? So, um, yeah, so I'm not too thrilled with people that want to dismantle the right of a group of people to make a public cooperative over things important to them besides money so yeah Ron Paul is a fucking nut I hope he does win Iowa though